A common issue I've found in many brass players, especially younger ones, is an artificial raising of the shoulders while they're playing. There are normally two causes for this. For some, it's due to incorrect breathing, and for others, it's due to simply tension. For those who do it as part of their breathing, I recommend you see my video regarding the role ribs play in breathing and how to help students fix that. Players who raise their shoulders without a breathing issue exhibit a problem with what's called their humeroscapular rhythm. Humeroscapular rhythm is the coordinated movement of the upper arm, the humerus, and the shoulder blade, or the scapula. These should move in tandem in a relaxed manner. By raising their shoulders, they're working harder and increasing tension without any gain whatsoever. On the contrary, it will actually prove generally to be very detrimental to their playing. However, it is a fairly simple issue to fix. First, have them play as they normally would. Get them to feel the tension and feel the tightness in their shoulders. The next step will be having them play with their arms out to the side but with the shoulders relaxed. They'll feel a new tension in the upper arm into just barely into the shoulder. This is normal. It's not a tension that's going to stay. Once they've gotten comfortable with that a little bit, then have them relax the arms back into the body keeping the shoulders as relaxed as they were before. In my experience, those who have raised shoulders without a rationale for doing so tend to find this to be a very beneficial exercise. Be patient. Body mapping is hugely beneficial, but it can take a great deal of time for a student to understand and conceptualize the concepts, let alone to actually put them into everyday practice. If you have body mapping questions, consult a certified Andover educator or refer to any of the resources listed below.